Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading on the Watch Natalie, N-A-T-A-L-E-E -E channel. I'm here to do your weekly reading. I move them over so the air and fire signs will now come out every Wednesday instead of every Monday. The earth and water signs will remain on Sundays, so they'll go Sunday to Sunday and you will go Wednesday to Wednesday, okay? If this is not resonating or if you want more information, feel free to check your rising sign as well as your moon sign. Head over to alabe.com -A -A for a free natal chart. Let's all remember that... Oh yeah, hold on. The calendar menu changed. I updated the cal calendar menu. So if you go to the artigan.com slash tarot, you can find the updated calendar menu and it has all of the dates and all of the stuff there. So that's that. What else? Yeah, you guys know the drill for the golden oldies, time spirals for the newbies. So what does that mean for energy newbie? What does it mean? It means that you can resonate with this reading right now or four years from now and you're going through my archives. Whenever you're guided to view this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. So you can play this video for 25 seconds and then click off and then you come back three months later and finish the video and then you're meant to hear those messages at that point, okay? So let's see what Aquarius is have for the week Aquarius okay what do we have that was quick we've got three cards together and one card on the table we have the nine of pentacles the seven of staves and the moon this is interesting this is an individual who's very independent could be you could be someone else in your zone but this person what they're doing with the seven of wands energy is they are making demands. They're making lists of this is what I want. This is what I expect. These are my do's. These are my don'ts. These are my limits. These are my asks. This is my writer for the contract. I want 85 jelly beans in the brown color and 25 jelly beans in the red color waiting for me every day. And it's all kind of delusional. It's all kind of, they're like confused. I'll say confused and not delusional. I just felt people just f exit the reading right now. <laughs> okay, so who you or someone else? Well, we haven't picked up the other card on the table, but I'm connecting with an energy of an independent person who thinks that they can make these kinds of demands. Look at that. Look, I mean, just look at the image. He's standing up on this rock and all these staves are trying to get at him and he's fighting them off. See, but it's not real because this person's already wealthy and independent and they have a falcon and they have a little snail as a pet. So it's really like, and that's what this brings in. This, this moon card is very confused. They just don't see it clearly. They don't see the situation clearly. They're not seeing how they're, up, they're coming across clearly either. Okay, let's see what this card is. The, um, the nine, the six of staves victory there is i feel like this person wants to there either will be a victory or this person wants the victory so let's see which one it is this is an aquarius that i'm connecting with i will also be talking to the cross watchers directly <gasps> nine of cups wish fulfillment here we go i knew it this is the eight of swords with the knight of cups so this is an offer on its way to the Aquarius or the Aquarius needing or wanting to make an offer. Either way, it's not coming in. The offer is not coming in because one or both sides has the blindfold on and they just can't see their way out. And the blindfold is self-imposed. So this is an Aquarius... I'm connecting with an, I might be talking to the cross watcher the rest of the re reading because I feel like there's this, this Aquarius is not going to want to hear this message. Let me just put it that way. So this Aquarius, sorry, my moon's in Aquarius. Okay. So it could be, okay. It could be, I'm just saying, let's just all get on the same level here. You could be Aquarius ascendant, Aquarius sun or Aquarius moon, but this is an independent person who's being defensive or being sort of like demanding and then they don't think they are. <laughs> they just don't see how they're being a little bit. And it's like they're being triggered. This is the root of it. So we're not making any judgments. And I know that that's difficult for Aquarian energy because Aquarians love to just like 
judge, 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 you know, and Capricorn too. So, I mean, I totally get it. I totally, totally get it. And when I just want you to kind of boop, open up a little bit to, to really hear me here. Okay. Please, please. Okay. Moving forward. <sighs> the root of this is a trigger. This is a trigger when you want to rebel and you want to assert your authority and your independence and you were not able to before. And so now you're overcompensating for it and it's coming across, it's putting you in a negative light. This moon card could be slander. It could be gossip. It could be negative projections onto you. So just be very careful of who you're making these demands to or who you are being very entitled is what they just said. Like in there's a little bit of that sense to it, okay? And these this these two cards down here, it could be that someone wants to come in and offer you something, and they have negative self talk, and they're being eaten up by doubts, or it's you that wants to make an offer, or you want the offer to come in. And you are the one who is being hung up by your own negative thoughts, okay? The swords are thoughts. It's debate. It's theology. It's theoretical. It's, you know, all the mental space here. Let's see what else we have for Aquarius this week. King of Wands. Very attractive, though. I feel like this is you, whether you're female or male Aquarius. I feel like you're coming across very attractive, very charismatic, very independent, very, very, very <sighs> bossy, but attractively, okay? The King of Wands is my guy that wants to come home, sit at the dinner table, and then everyone stops what they're doing to pay attention to him and listen to his day. He's very entertaining, but that's how he wants it to be, okay? Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. See, you're doing this. This Aquarius is being so like defensive or being very like because they're they're really thinking about the long term. This Aquarius I'm connecting to is really trying to create something for themselves. And there could be some legacy involved here. There could be a fatherly influence around you or the authority issues that explain why you're being so defensive have to do with a father figure that I just said. Maybe he was a little bit of a tyrant. Maybe he was a little bit not really respecting your independence as a little Aquarian. But this is legacy. This is always legacy for me as a reader. Ten of Pentacles. I always see the family. I always see this old man. I always see his kids. And I always I started seeing this little baby, little grandbaby. You know, so... So it could be having some roots there for any Aquarian that wants to, that it's really resonating for and wants to think about, okay? <gasps> Seven of Swords. Escapism. That's coming up right underneath the moon card too. It's escapism. You're not, you're, I'm going to, see, I feel like the Aquarius that needs to hear this is not going to listen to it. This Aquarius, cross watcher, is escaping this legacy, dealing with this father influence of, paternal authority figure residual issues they thought they dealt with it they're it's not done yet because they don't even see themselves they don't even see how they're coming across they don't even see that they're being a certain way and they're just escaping they're escaping from that kind of truth here this week oh see this is underneath the six of staves see aquarius wants this the Aquarius wants this victory and it's like pending. It's just sitting there. It's sitting there. I feel like there is an offer that wants to come through to Aquarius, a very stable and secure offer. And the Aquarius wants it too, but it's pending. It's pending because Aquarius is coming across. <sighs> Let's see what we get with this nine of cups card. It was right on the edge there. <gasps> I'm glad I did it. Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. This is completely, it's coming through. Totally. It comes through for you, Aquarius. W right underneath the wish card. Solid. It's a solid offer. It's a solid communication. Solid. Very solid. Oh, gosh. Real quick. What? I just want to know what happens. Okay, Aquarius. What happens this week? Holy moly. 
the offer is released, it comes through. Look at the chariot on the bottom of the deck. Or sorry, on the bot the last card that came out. Right beneath the Knight of Cups and the Swords, the Eight of Swords, the chariot moves it forward. It moves the offer in Aquarius. Okay. And I feel like it's conditional on you fixing this, fixing this, how you're coming across and how this defensiveness is. Because what's holding it up is this, um, is your energy. Because everything else looks like it's going. It wants to go. They want it to go. You want it to go. So why isn't it going? Why is it pending? Pending because of this. The very first cards we got out. They're looking at your demands. They're looking at your attitude and they're like, aren't I holding a pentacle? Aren't I holding a pentacle? Why is she asking for a golden mountain? She's delusional. Don't I have a pentacle? Why is he asking for eight trailers when he needs one. It's like that. That's what it feels like. But I feel like this gets resolved. Both of you come to terms and then it works out. Okay, Aquarius. Um, I'll talk to you next week. Okay, bye.